Hi, I'm Mauricio from Egg University and I will present the work Co-Designing QuickPeak – Automated Topic-Specific Communication Boards from Photographs for AAC-Based Language Instruction. A typical approach to support autistic children during speech-language therapy and special education is to provide communication boards with vocabulary symbols relevant to a specific topic. Professionals use these boards in activities that immerse learners in symbolic language such as demonstrating how to select symbols to talk about real-world concepts and stimulate learners to formulate sentences for requesting, answering, and commenting during interesting and meaningful moments. A primary challenge for these professionals is the work associated with manually selecting vocabulary and programming it into the AAC devices in preparation for these activities. Even with extensive experience, SLPs often allocate a significant portion of their workload to programming these tools, which reduces the time available for doing what matters most, interacting with their clients. Similarly, family members often report that the foreign time required to program these devices to do the similar activities at home as a major factor contributing to the abandonment of AAC systems. Recent work has demonstrated the potential of applying artificial intelligence to automatically generate these communication bars presenting a substantial opportunity to provide just-in-time communication support with very little effort and time required. However, since they did not employ a participatory design approach, they did not investigate in depth the professional design requirements for user interface or vocabulary generation quality to properly provide language support for their clients. In this work, we address these open questions by following a research through design approach. Our team formed by a HCI researcher, four SLPs, and two special education teachers co-designed QuickPeak, available at the app stores and used daily in several language therapy clinics and special education schools. Over a 17-month period, our team conducted several rounds of internal testing and collected insights from other professionals after using the application with autistic children. We iterated on the design three times until all parties involved were satisfied with the application. Then, we ran a user study with another eight SLPs to investigate the differences in user experience when using the application with the vocabulary generation method used in Click AC and our newly proposed method based on an LLM. I'll talk about this study later on. Now let's dive in the co-design process. We started with an online kickoff meeting so that the HCI researcher could comprehend the SLP's initial requirements and expectations regarding the vocabulary generated automatically, and to discuss the capabilities and limitations of AI technologies available for the development of the app. Then, the two SLPs engaged in an interactive process to design a low fidelity prototype that encapsulates all the necessary screens and interface interactions to effectively convey the envisioned language support. The low fidelity prototype comprises four main screens one for creating new boards from photos from the device storage, camera, or web search. The main display, composed of vocabulary icons generated, organized by their part of speech a message bar on the top, and the topic photo on the left. The edit mode for adding, removing, or editing a vocabulary symbol, and finally, a library for easy access to all boards previously created. Once the HCI researcher developed a high-fidelity prototype that replicated the initial design, the SLPs tested the application by themselves to investigate whether the envisioned features were correctly implemented and to explore the quality of vocabulary generated. Then, the team collectively discussed the new features and necessary usability improvements. The main concerns were related to the relevance of vocabulary generated, the automatic part-of-speech classification, and the need for having animated symbols to convey descriptors, prepositions and verbs, as autistic individuals may have difficulties comprehending static visual representations of abstract concepts. In the next step, the four invited special education professionals in our team tried Quick Peek for a few days during their routine activities at school. They decided how and when to use the app as opportunities for language support naturally arose. 
While they all agree that their experience with the app was positive, they uncover seven important requirements that had not been identified during the previous internal tests. The main points were related to the quality of vocabulary generated, especially when a larger number of items was generated. SLPs also highlighted the importance of generating correct pronouns, including people's names, and provide the ability to generate opposite descriptors if the users wish to. While this was addressed in the following development stage, the group they identified that addressing the high priority issues related to the quality of vocabulary, especially when a larger number of items were generated, would necessitate an entirely new generation method. Therefore, we started an exploration of an alternative method for generating vocabulary for QuickPick, leveraging the capabilities of the GPT 3.5 Turbo model. Based on recommendations from the LLM community and his own experience working with LLM-based systems, the HCR researcher crafted a prompt to elicitate vocabulary related to the caption provided by the computer visual model. The team then conducted a subjective comparison between the novel and original algorithms, hereafter referred as GPT and VIST, respectively, using a set of photographs of themes commonly discussed during therapy sessions and used in previous testing sessions. Given that the SLPs found that the GPT generation method appeared to provide more relevant vocabulary compared to the original beast used in ClickAC, the group decided to integrate this method into the app, allowing users to choose their preferred method in the settings menu. This integration marked the release of the third version of the QuickPeak prototype. Finally, by the 15th month of the project, to broaden the set of test cases in real-world context, we distributed the quick peek to an additional seven special educators who test the app by themselves using representative pictures of their practices. At this point, all parties involved were confident that quick peek could be effectively employed in language and school context without the need for significant new features or usability improvements. These are the main screens in the finalized Quick Peek. From the home screen, users can either create a new board or view the album, which contains boards that were previously created. Tapping Create a Quick Peek leads to options for taking a photo, uploading a photo, or searching web. The generated board display vocabulary symbols organized by their part of speech, along with the input photograph on the left and a message bar on the top and users can enter the editing mode by selecting the pen icon on the bottom menu. The editing mode allows for reordering, removing, or editing a particular vocabulary symbol. To gather evidence regarding the overall usability and user experience of QuickPeak, in addition to the relevance of vocabulary produced, when powered by the two generation methods, we conducted a user study with a new group of eight SLPs who had not participated in the co-design process. Participants first completed a pre-questionnaire covering demographic information and past AAC experience. Then they went through a tutorial session to familiarize themselves with QuickPeaks features. Following this, they used the app's search web function to create communication boards centered around the topics car or train for working on commenting and describing scenes with short utterances with a hypothetical child with severe autism. Participants created one board using the GPT and another using this generation. Finally, they filled out a post-questionnaire to assess the usability and overall experience and responded to open-ended questions providing feedback and suggestions for improvement. Now, let's go through the main findings. In the pre-questionnaire, all participants agreed that topic-specific boards are an important tool for clinicians and their clients, and that the time required to create those boards is the major barrier to including them in therapy sessions. Regarding the image captioning, which is the first step taken when generating the boards, our analysis demonstrated that QuickPeak's model accurately identified the scenes in all photos chosen by participants, accurately describing all central elements in all photographs. On the other hand, the original captioning model used in ClickAC failed in two instances, misidentifying a scene as child playing with blocks instead of a child playing with a toy train, and two boys sitting on a toy tractor instead of two boys sitting on toy trains. To compare the relevance of vocabulary generated by the two methods, 
We looked into the number of vocabulary symbols generated that each participant kept on a finalized board and the number of symbols manually added to it. Overall, GPT generated more relevant words for all parts of speech and participants had to manually add more words in the VIS condition. The largest observed differences were in the preposition, objects and descriptors. When comparing the overall experiences under the two conditions, we observed that, in general, participants created the boards faster under the GPT generation, with an average time close to 6 minutes compared to almost 10 minutes under the VIST condition. Both questionnaire responses indicated overall satisfaction with QuickPick, but participants preferred the experience offered by the GPT-based generation better. Major differences were observed in responses related to the quality of generated vocabulary, with participants expressing that GPT generation helps them expand vocabulary more effectively and efficiently. Mean Malk usability score was 4.8 for the VIST condition and 5.5 for GPT, suggesting stronger usability, particularly for the GPT generation. Participants uniformly highlighted the effectiveness of quick picking, expediting and simplifying the creation of topic-specific communication boards, emphasizing its provision of a good starting point and simple yet effective editing features. Notably, some participants remarked that quick pick surpassed standard AAC apps in ease of use, expressing preferences for its efficiency over alternatives like BoardMaker or TouchChat. All participants expressed the willingness to incorporate quick peek into their practice, stating potential use cases such as creating displays on the fly for common activities, aligning with patients' interests, and supporting language modeling during sessions. Please check our paper for more details and discussion on unique features and requirements uncovered in this work in relation to previous work, reflections on the co-design process, and opportunities for technical improvements.